It is a happy day for students at Abu Khloi Secondary School in Rimbek, in the Western Lakes region of South Sudan. They sing and dance in celebration of the first ever Peace and Human Rights Clubs event. The clubs were launched in 2006 to promote peace and push for a change of attitudes between students belonging to different ethnic groups. Lat Luca and Daniel Deng Joseph have broken ethnic boundaries and become friends, setting an example of how South Sudan's future generation can change hearts and minds despite the ongoing conflict. 19-year-old Lat says that when he first went to the school, he soon realized that he was different from the other students and that they were different from him. But despite this, bonds were formed. From the first time I met him, he was, I, didn't know, I did not know him, but he didn't know me also. So we began to know each other through group works. I was good in English and he was good in mathematics. So there we used to share our ideas and then from there he used to calculate for me good mathematics numbers, complex ones, and I used to share with him verbs, adverbs and the rest of the sentences. So from there, that's when we began to know ourselves and we became friends. His friend Daniel is just as happy about the strong friendship. I really get surprised that so there is someone who is not from my tribe that can bring me up like that. Lat, Daniel and other students have been encouraged to act as agents of change and relay messages of peace to their families and communities. I believe that we are change again and we are not working on tribalism but we are working on how to become educated so that we can bring up our country as we have seen that there is a lot of tribalism. So this is where we need each other and now we don't call ourselves uh, from any tribe. No, we are a family and we are like brothers and sisters. So that's how we knew each other and I'm very happy that I have a friend like him. During the event organized by the UN mission, students met with community leaders, youth and women's groups to preach peace and call for a stop to intercommunal violence that has marred the region. The enormous cities that used to set in among the students is dying down gradually. As because of this, we have now decided to strengthen the weaker, uh, the weaker schools so that they can beef up. But those particular schools that have succeeded uh, with our strategy, we now want to make sure that they move out to communities and start to propagate peace messages to these particular communities to see the, the uniqueness of working together or living together and within the school being translated to the communities. For now, hopes to erode tribalism and build a peaceful South Sudan lies in friendships like Lat and Daniel's.